How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about why I am selling my Xmark 30 inch mowers. Uh, I've talked about this in the past few videos, haven't gone around to it. Uh, just because my other videos continue to get long, so I wanted to uh, do a separate video on uh, the reasons why I'm selling the X Mark 30s. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, as you guys know, I've uh, in the past uh, I used to own the Toro 30 inch, and now I have uh, used to own two of those, and then I currently have two of the X Mark 30 inch mowers. Now, these are really good mowers. I really like them. I think that the idea of a 30 inch mower, uh, a walk behind like this is um, a good concept. I really do like it, and I wish that Toro and Xmark uh, both could fix a few of the problems. Now, a lot of guys think that they are different when they are actually the same. Uh, they really are. If the looks of them, there's only just a few things uh, different from them. I actually posted a video, I think sometime last year, comparing both of the mowers when I had them both. Uh, really, the biggest difference was the, uh, the height adjustment. Uh, mostly for the front end, uh, the Toro used a uh, uh, a locking lever where the uh, Xmark uses like a pin lever <coughs> where you can take them out. And then um, of course the engine guard up in front <coughs> and uh, I think that's basically it and then just the name. Uh, everything's really just the same. Uh, the Xmark, one of the Xmarks last year that I had, I actually had to replace the transmission on them and that's another big issue uh, which I will be getting to. Uh, but I had my problems with both of them. Uh, the biggest problem I probably had was with the Toros and as most of you guys know what would happen is that when I would be mowing the blade, two of them actually broke in half. Uh, one of them broke luckily underneath the deck and it stayed there because I was in some pretty thick grass. The other one actually flung about 25 feet or so. Uh, and actually hit and damaged one of my commercial condo buildings. And so they were not happy about that and I was not happy about that. I called Toro, told them about it. They said they would get someone out there and they never did a single thing about it, never got a call from them or anything since. I believe they have since there was a recall on it and they did replace and they did fix it. What I guess it was was there was some uh, bearing or some washer on one of the spindles and what would happen is that it would start vibrating and the vibration would actually snap the blade and then that's when the blade went flying and uh, it was actually just a few inches from uh, shattering someone's window. So luckily no one got hurt. I just cracked one of the plastic sidings on the building. So that was the uh, problems I had with the Toro. Now the biggest reason why I am selling my Xmark 30 mowers and a lot of people are wanting to know them because they are becoming very, very popular. Uh, like I said, I've been using them, I believe the past at least three years, the Toros for the first year and a half and then the Xmark for the past two. Um, like I said, both are still the same. The biggest reason why I'm selling them though is because of their belts. Uh, they are both ran, uh, Toro and Xmark, the same exact thing. They uh, are run uh, with a just a normal belt like you would see on any other lawnmower. And the problem with them that, and the problem with that is that they tend to uh, stretch out very easily and fast. And so the uh, belt lives on them do not last long. Uh, they, the belts themselves are like anywhere from 20 to $30 each. I could be a little high, could be a little low, but somewhere in that region. Just had the uh, X Marks uh, belts, one of them recently uh, replaced. And what happens is that it takes about two hours to replace the belts because you have to get from underneath it. I, I have actually replaced one of the belts before and it is a complete pain because of the rear transmission and you have to, dislocated and it's, it's, it's really annoying, trust me. So if you can do it yourself, then that's great. <coughs> but you don't want to be changing belts all the time. It took my dealer two hours to replace two belts. And that's way too long. So the uh, if you're doing it yourself, then you're probably fine. If you have it in your dealer do it because you don't have the time to do it, uh, that gets really spendy because what happens is that the belts, they stretch out so fast that the tip speed on the blades uh, are not consistent. So when you first get them tightened, they do really well. You can adjust it. Um, and I mean, that's no problem, but even when you continue to adjust it and tighten it, the belts just stretch out so fast and what happens is that if you're not on it all the time, the, uh, the blade speed is uh, not up to, uh, I guess, the, the rotations per minute that they need to be. And so what happens is that it doesn't cut your grass or anything and mostly uh, you just don't get a nice clean cut like you used to. And the RPMs tend to die down a little bit. You have to constantly change the RPM or at least adjust the RPMs. You have to constantly change and adjust the belts. And then the transmissions are also a problem. 
actually this the second video I ever posted on my YouTube was of the transmissions of the Toro those things they used to have huge problems with them back in the day and they kind of fixed them but not really because they don't really go up the hills too much you still there is still a lot of manpower that is required to go up them depending on how steep of hills some of them do pretty good you can adjust some of them <coughs> and they do pretty well uh, the ones that I have don't do the greatest and then like I said um, I don't believe they do too well on hill size because like I said I had to replace one of the transmissions in the X marks uh, last year and basically what happened was the gearing on the inside the shaft completely shattered and broke and I believe it's from doing a hillside not going up and down straight but going sideways and I think that much weight uh, on the mowers just tended to uh, it ruined some of the gearing in the rear wheels which those get pretty expensive I don't remember the price and I don't want to give a price and then it's wrong I don't know if they're like 50 bucks each uh, please do some research like I said these are just kind of ballpark estimates uh, but and then the transmission I knew the transmission was around 115 120 so that's basically the biggest reasons <coughs> so the belts uh, there's uh, still a lack of power in the transmissions and uh, I believe that they need to put a little bit more power towards that um, the decks tend to clog up really fast um, especially I mean it's gonna happen with any mower uh, I, I tend to I can at least say this when the decks clog up they do a lot worse compared to like a Honda or a, uh, a normal 21 inch mower uh, because with the 21 inch mower since it's driven off the, the shaft of the engine, the drive shaft basically, um, there's no uh, slippage of the, the belts, things aren't burning up, like the belts aren't burning up and uh, luckily with like a Honda it pushes through that and it does a lot better. Um, I believe that's basically it. Uh, we got basically the transmissions. The biggest thing for me is the belts. It makes this annoying ticking, and I've talked about this in a lot of my videos, and I'll actually play it for you right now so you guys can hear it. Uh, this was recorded off the Toro Turfmaster when I was recording. You can adjust this noise. It takes a little bit of time because sometimes it's just with the main cable, it's either uh, loosening it up or tightening it, and you have to find that medium, and sometimes, even when you tighten it, you can't get rid of this noise, and it's just so annoying. And basically what that noise is, is one of the tensioner pulleys, uh, and that sometimes, like I said, if the belts are really loose, that thing just slaps around, and it makes this annoying ticking noise. I'll, I'll go ahead and play it for you guys real quick so you guys can hear it. So yeah, that's annoying, and uh, I've actually I would get complaints about my clients asking me, saying, uh, "Hey, what's wrong with your mowers? Are they broken?" I said, "No, sadly, that's just the noise that they make." Like I said, sometimes you can get rid of them, sometimes you can't. There's just a lot of maintenance that goes into them, and I don't like it. So what I plan on doing is selling my X Mark mowers and switching back over to my Honda. We currently use one of the Honda 21-inch mowers, which is the HRX 217, and we will be bringing back the HRC 216. I absolutely love that mower. The only thing I don't like about it is it's pretty heavy. But um, other than that, you know, uh, if you're looking at either a Toro or an X Mark, I would honestly prefer the X Mark. The reason why is because the front wheels, the way they adjust, you can actually uh, mount a little front uh, mount uh, to Thatcher on it, which is really cool. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. And that, that's really cool, and that's probably one of the greatest things about it. <coughs> you get some pretty cool attachments where the Toro, you're not allowed to do that because of the way that the front wheels are in. So, um, if you guys are looking at getting an X Mark mower, these are some things that I just want to kind of point you out. I've been using them for I think almost three years now, and I've used both Toro and X Mark. They are exactly the same thing, just really the biggest difference between them, like I talked about in the beginning of the video, was really what they have patents on. And so um, that's really the biggest difference that you're going to see in it. So if you're looking at getting one, um, <clears throat> these are just some of the things to be cautious about. Hopefully the newer ones that are coming out don't have these problems like I had. Um, the X marks that I have now are the newer models. Like one of them is not even, I think they're about a year and a half old. So it's, it's fairly one of the newer ones. It's not the older ones where it had all the problems. Um, <clears throat> like with the huge transmission and the big recalls and stuff like that. Luckily I got rid of those. So I've uh, been getting a lot of comments <coughs> about why I'm, I'm selling my my mowers and this is the reason and those are the those are the reasons why another thing is that now that i have my walker mower uh, with the front floating deck i'm able to get into a lot more tight places because of the bagging system sitting behind me rather than a shoot off the side like my hustlers 
And uh, because of that, basically the walkers are almost making the, uh, the 30 inch mowers completely useless. And if we can, we'll use our Honda 20 inch mowers because we always get a nice clean cut. They have the twin blades, so you get that nice micro cut where the blade clippings are even more. They mulch way better. Um, that's one thing about the Xmark in 30 inch. In dry grass, they mulch pretty well. Uh, in thick wet grass, I wouldn't even risk it. Those things die down, they bog down, the whole underside clogs up and it's an absolute mess, especially when it's clogged up underneath the deck, you disengage the blades and then it just goes all over the cement. We've dealt with that so many times and uh, I, like I said, I'm just getting to the point where uh, I'm no, in no longer need of these 30 inch mowers. So I hope I, I believe I covered everything, uh, the reasons why I'm getting rid of it. And it looks like we're at about 10 minutes. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I answered most of your questions. If you're looking at the 30 inch mower, just be cautious about this. Uh, these are my opinions. These are the things I experienced with these machines. Um, and uh, if you're looking at kind of on the fence, well, hopefully this video will help you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, we will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping. So good.